Meet some new friends of ours. There's Miguel, the mail truck. There's Jess, the tow truck. And there's Captain Parker. And they're all in Finley, the fire engine. Finley, the fire engine. That's the sound, the sound of the sirens. Finley, the fire engine. Here comes Finley, it's time to play. Ring, ring, ring. Somebody's calling. Clang, clang, clang. There goes the bell. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Rev up your engines. Here comes Finley and all his friends. Finley, the fire engine. Hear the sound, the sound of the sirens. Finley, the fire engine. Here comes Finley. It's time to play. Ring, ring, ring. Let's play with Finley. Clang, clang, clang. Hear the bell ring. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Rev up your engines. Here comes Finley and all his friends. Finley, the fire engine. That's the sound, the sound of his sirens. Finley, the fire engine. Here comes Finley. It's time to play. I think you know better, Finley. Truck football is a game for outside, not inside where things can get broken. Sorry. There, straight as ruler. Thank you. Well, I'm just glad that nothing happened to the bell. That thing? What's so special about a rusty old bell? Yeah, it looks like something from the dump. <laughs> you two wouldn't be laughing if you knew how special that old bell was. In fact, the town of Friendlyville wouldn't be the same without it. That's right, Polly. Many years ago, fire engines didn't have sirens like you and I do, Finley. They had bells like this one to sound the way. And my word, does this bell have a story to tell? That's silly, Captain Parker. Bells can't tell stories. Huh? Huh? I beg your pardon. I tell a really good tale if I do say so myself. Uh, <laughs> oh yes. I didn't mean you, Mr. Bell. I meant Nat Bell. You tell great stories. Oh, why? Thank you, Finley. Now, did I ever tell you the story of the? <clears throat> oh, this old bell may have lost its shine and it may be cracked, but that's because it worked hard for many years helping all of Friendlyville. You mean this bell is the same bell as the one in that picture? Yes, it is, young Finley. This old bell has had quite a few adventures. And now it sits here in the firehouse to remind us of all the heroes that have helped Friendlyville over the years. That's what makes it so special. Whoa! I have to show this to my friends. They all want to hear it ring. Hold on there, Finley. This bell isn't a toy to be played with. But I... We wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Well... I'm off to City Hall to install some new fire alarms. Have fun, you two, but outside, if you please. Wow, I really wish the whole gang could see this. Hmm. Finley, whatever you're thinking, stop. Yes, you heard what Captain Parker said. He said it's not a toy to be played with, but I'm not going to play with it. I'm just going to take it for a few minutes to show my friends. Absolutely not! If you want your friends to see it, you can invite them here. But what about Suds and Lois and Lyle? They can't see the bell unless I take it to the truck yard. Finley? Don't worry, Polly. I'll keep it safe, I promise. Finley? I really don't think that bell should leave the station. Uh, oh, what? Oh, OK, I'll... <laughs> Stay right here. I always say there's nothing like soap bubbles for good, clean fun. Look, I've got a double bubble. Catch it, Miguel. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, OK. I'm definitely going to have to clean these streaks off my windscreen. A post fan must always be at his shiny best. Wow! That 
and it's a super duper ring a ding ring a Finley. Yes, and it looks as if it's really old. It is, and it's really, really special too. It saved Friendlyville from total disaster about a zillion times. Wow! That's why it's cracked because of all the big fires it was in for almost 100 years. Wow! Amazing! Oh, Finley, do you think I could try ringing it? Well, uh, okay, why not? Wow! Everyone would come out for ice cream if they heard this. Oh, me too! I want to go! Uh, okay. There wouldn't be anyone late for school if they heard me coming with this bell. Headlights on, Scooty! There's a squeaky clean truck coming through. I didn't see Scooty. I wasn't even supposed to take it outside. Now look! Oh, Finley, we didn't realise the bell wasn't allowed outside. What are you going to do now? I don't know, Isabel, but I do know that Captain Parker won't be happy about this. I'm sure you'll understand. It was an accident. Yeah, an accident that would never have happened if I listened to Captain Parker. Wait, maybe we can fix it. Then Captain Parker will have his bell back just as it was. Well, maybe. But how? I know, I know. Glue. It worked when I needed to fix the bumper on my super truck action figure. I'm sure it'll work for your bell. Yeah, yeah. 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 let's just yeah. take it. What am I going to do? I know. Maybe we can find the same type of bell at the dump. There are all sorts of things there. Yes. If we could find a bell just like this one, we could switch them and the captain won't know it's broken. And then he won't feel bad. <laughs> Nothing. I think I found something. Corby, that's not a bell, that's a xylophone. Well, it sort of sounds like a bell. I'm going back in. I found something. I think it's a bell. <clears throat> but it's nothing like Captain Parker's. It's no use. I'll never find one just like it. Wait! Maybe you can tell Captain Parker that you were afraid someone might steal the bell, so you were taking it to a really safe place and... and the wind blew it off your mirror! I don't think so, Scooty. There's hardly any wind today. Yes. Besides, who would steal a bell? Except for me. But you could say that you're going to get the crack in the bell fixed at the fix-it shop. But instead of fixing it, they accidentally broke it. OK, that could work. I took it to the fix-it shop and someone else broke it. Oh, I've got it! You were going to get the bell fixed when you and the bell were captured by pirates. But you got away. Captain Parker will be so happy you didn't have to walk the plank. He won't even think about the bell. You know what, gang? All of these stories are just lies. And I just can't tell a lie to Captain Parker. It's wrong. Just like it was wrong to take the bell without permission. You're right, Finley. You'll have to tell him the truth. It's the right thing to do. Good yes, for you, honesty Finley. is the best Harry. policy. I'll be okay. He's in so much trouble. He's done for. Poor Finley. Not good. You said it. And I know I should listen to you and left the bell in this case. But I really wanted to show it to all my friends and... And now it's ruined. <laughs> well, Finley, sometimes the most important lessons are the hardest to learn. It's not right to take things that aren't yours, especially if you know that you're not supposed to. But I think you realise that now. 
Yes, I do. So, you're not angry? No, young Finley, I'm not. But I am disappointed that you took the bell without my permission. But I'm also proud of you, because you came and told me the truth. Well, I suppose this old bell has an even bigger story to tell now. Yes, but not a very nice one. The bell had all these heroic stories, and now it's broken because I did something silly. Actually, young Finley, years from now, trucks will hear the story of one little fire engine who made a big mistake and got himself in a pickle. But he learned that honesty is the best policy. Yes, and to never, ever take anyone else's things without permission. I'd say that's a very special story. And that certainly is a really special bell. Well, really? Why, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Billy. The fire engine's rolling into town. Hey, hey, Billy. You're the fire engine of the year. Let's go, Billy. We light up whenever you're around. We like Finley the Fire Engine, so Andy and I thought we'd play a game which is a bit like Finley the Fire Engine because we've got a pump here which pumps up water through this nozzle. See there? Now we have to fill up this tube all the way to the top of that red line and then we'll be Finley fans forever. All we need now is the dice which Andy has gone to get. Andy, how That's you doing? That's it, oh, I'm coming, I've had the dice now. Fantastic, now what we do is roll the dice right. and see how many times we can squirt the water up to fill the tube before the time runs out. Go! Right! Oh, not wow, so great. Squirt. One. That's not too bad, but it's not too good. OK, <laughs> let's do it again. Four. Four. That's better. That's much better. Let's go. One, two, two three, three, four. four. No, it's good oh, enough. Let's do it again. Oh, oh it's a one. Another one. One. Still let's not do enough. One more. Two. Two. Oh, one. not good enough. Two. We've got a lot of okay, ways to go. Let's nice go again. Number. Big number. Three. three. Oh, one. Two. Oh, we're almost three. there, Sid. We are nearly there, man. Big number, please, Andy. Three. Another three again. One, two, three. I think we need a six oh. this time. Can we do it? Can we do it before the time runs no. out? One. One more. And again. Six. six. Maybe we can do it. One, One two, two. Oh, three. Oh, the time has run out. Never mind. It was a good try. Maybe we could use this water in the garden. In the garden, yes. yes. <laughs> 